Everyone knows American cars are terrible, and cars from Europe, especially cars from Italy, are better. Better looking, better driving, and usually better sounding. Fifty years ago, Henry Ford knew this. That's why he tried to buy Ferrari, and thought he had. Until Enzo Ferrari looked down his Roman nose and said, uh, you know what, actually, you can't have it. So, Henry decided to kick Ferrari where it hurt, on the racetrack. He wrote a blank check and told his engineers to build a better racing car and beat Ferrari at Le Mans. And astonishingly, that car, a British chassis with an American engine, the Ford GT40, did just that. Four times. This car is not the GT40, but it looks like one and it was made to celebrate Ferrari's humiliation, only this time on the road, not the track. It's the Ford GT, not the GT40, because unlike that car, it's more than 40 inches tall, so Americans could fit into it. But the idea is just the same. A great big V8, a 5.4-litre with a supercharger, and a relatively simple aluminium chassis. 220 miles an hour and, frankly, astonishing handling for a car from America. And movie star looks. I have never driven a car that attracts more attention, and I drove this one a lot because I bought one as remarkably, at the time, there wasn't a Ferrari that was better. And that's only something that happens once every 50 years. La Ford GT est chaussée de jantes arrière 19 pouces en alliage d'aluminium coulé et équipée de freins à disque ventilés percés. Le V8 turbocompressé de 5 ,4 litres 4 développe 558 chevaux. Il propulse la voiture à 100 km h en 3 secondes 8 et permet d'atteindre une vitesse de pointe de 330 km h De par son aérodynamisme, la GT est la première Ford de série à atteindre les 320 km h C'est d'autant plus remarquable que cette vitesse fut atteinte pour la première fois au Mans en 1966 par des GT40.
L'habitacle de la GT rappelle celui des mythiques GT40 de course des années 60. Les assises de siège perforées, le tableau de bord analogique et les interrupteurs sont tous des clins d'œil rétro à cette époque. 